Okay, today we're locating points of the spleen channel. We're starting with spleen one on the big toe. And spleen one is a jing well, so we will find that next to the nail bed. Next to the nail bed, approximately 0.1 cm from the medial side of the nail bed. Splain 1 is the Jingwell and Wood Point, and also Sun Simiao Ghost Point. Splain 2 is located distal to the metacarpophalangeal joint. So the metacarpals are here, and the phalanges start here. So each individual bone is a phalange or a phalanx, but we just refer to the toes and the fingers as phalanges. So this joint is the metacarpophalangeal joint because you have the metacarpal meeting the phalanx. <clears throat> so we're on the distal side of that, this big bone right here, this big joint. And so what we want to do is palpate just past that and a little bit on the underside of the bone and locate it there. Okay. Spleen one, spleen two. Spleen two is the yin spring and fire point. Uh, since spleen is earth, and this is an earth meridian, then the fire point precedes earth in the five element generating cycle. So that makes this the mother point. Spleen 3 is located just proximal to the metacarpophalangeal joint right here. You can feel the bone on the top of the foot. Under the foot is muscle. This is all muscle here. Here's the bone and underneath is muscle. So you're finding the bone and following it down. It starts to, to widen here. So it curves out right before the joint, and we want to go just proximal to that on the soft part because we needle into the muscle. That's spleen three. And spleen three is the shoe stream and earth point, and the shoe stream point on a yin meridian is also the one source point. Spleen four, this one is found by palpation. As you palpate up, you will find the end of the metacarpal here, and you'll be going on to another joint. So if I go on the top here, I feel the bone, and then I feel a bump, and then I fall into a little depression. That's the end of the bone right here. So I'm going to go on the side here and do the same thing, and I can feel where the bone curves out right here. That is spleen four. I should say it curves down towards the sole of the foot here. Right before that is spleen four. Spleen four is the little connecting point of the spleen channel and also the confluent point of chong, penetrating vessel. I would like to point out a common mistake made, and that is that people will follow this up go over the first joint and find a deeper um, area right here, but go over it and fall into this. This is kidney two. Okay, spleen five is found by palpating for the medial malleolus, finding the front of it, and the bottom where they cross, there's a depression. Depression right here. That's spleen five. Spleen five is a Jing River and metal point. Um, <clears throat> in the five element cycle, it goes fire, earth, metal. So that makes spleen five the child point of this meridian. And now we're up on the leg with spleen six. 
Splain 6 is a meeting point of the spleen, liver, and kidney channels. That's the only point category that it gets is that it's a meeting point. But uh, you'll find in practice that we use it a lot and in the clinic. So I want to find the high point of the medial malleolus. So that means the part that sticks out the most. Medially from the ankle. So the highest point is here. And I've already compared my hand to my patient's hand, and we are almost exact. And I'm measuring at these knuckles, that's three cent. So I want to be up here, and then I'm going to palpate for the bone. Okay. <coughs> Just behind the tibia, three cent proximal to the high point of the medial malleolus. So three sun up is spleen six. So we've got spleen one, two, and this is the big joint where the foot joint meets the toe. It's right here, big mound. Spleen two, three is just on the proximal side. Follow the bone up where it starts to curve out just, just before that is spleen four. If you keep going, you find deep depression, that's a kidney two. And then we palpate for the anterior border of the medial malleolus and the inferior border. And where they cross, there's a depression, that's spleen five. And then we measure from the medial malleolus, three sun proximal, right behind the tibia is spleen six. Now on the leg we're locating spleen 6, 7, 8, and 9, and once we go past 9 we're going to be above the knee. So we're going to be on the leg is 6, 7, 8, and 9. We are located 6, so now we're going to do 7 and 8, and then those two, 7 and 8, we use the sonometer, and 9 we use palpation. We can use a sonometer on 9, but palpation. So my distance from the, the uh, bottom of the patella, or the fold of the knee, the popliteal fold, to the medial malleolus is 15 sun. So I'm going to use my sonometer and put my zero here, finding my 15 and stretching it up. And my spleen 6 landed just right. Now spleen 7 is 3 sun above that. So what I'm going to do is I'm holding, uh, as I'm holding my sonometer, I'm just going to get my other hand up here and hold this. So that makes it a little easier. And then I'm going to go one, two, three. And same thing on the posterior border of the tibia. This is seven. And seven does not have a point category. And spleen eight is four sun superior to spleen seven. So again, using my zero and my 15, I can come up here and hold here, and then hold here, and then go four. One, two, three, four. Same thing, posterior border of the tibia. There's eight. Well, spleen eight is the sheath left point of the spleen channel. And nine we can palpate for. So finding the posterior border of the tibia, I'm gonna follow that up. And right here it starts to curve out and that way. And then I can feel the tibia fall off right here. That's the end of that angle. Okay, now to normally that depression falls right about there in the middle. And in our body model it also does. That's nine. And spleen 9, run the finger on the groove posterior to the medial border of the tibia until it falls into a depression below the tibial condyle. It says it's the same level as GP34. And it is in our patient. Uh, you'll learn GP34 next semester, so don't worry too much about that right now. Uh, now if we measure, sometimes the distance from here to here is not exact. 
we would find spleen 8, 3 cent inferior to spleen 9 using our sonometer, but it's a palpation point. It's pretty close. Spleen 9 is the Hussey and water point. And it's a major point for resolving dampness. It, what it does is it makes people urinate more. All right, we're on spleen and we are on the upper, we're on the thigh. And we have three points here. One is just above the knee, spleen 10 just above the knee, spleen 11, six sun superior to spleen 10. And then at the joint, very close to the groin, we have spleen 12. So spleen 10 has the name C of blood. We find spleen 10 by palpating for the size of the patella. And remember, you don't want to grab all this. No, no, no. You want to grab feel for just the bone, the top and the bottom. Measure that. Keep that measurement. Go up and put your thumb at the top of the bone. And then you're going to come across right here. So just can you... Uh, you don't have to extend your knee, but can you tense your muscles here? And you can see the teardrop shape right here. It might be hard to see in the camera, but it's here. And I actually want to go to the center of that right there. Relax. And that is spleen 10. Okay, so I'm going to just go through mistakes I see people make here. One is oh, this one that I've mentioned already. Too, grabbing too much tissue at the knee. Another one is when they get the measurement, they may go up here, but then they keep looking for something that they can feel and there's really, you can't really feel anything. You have to like feel for the muscle itself and that takes some level of palpatory skill. Um, so, you know, if you're first learning this, it's gonna be kind of hard. So you can have your patient tense the muscle, you tense again. And we can see the muscles come up here and if you palpate you can actually feel the separation where it comes over here to the medial uh, you can feel the vastus medialis of the quadriceps okay and in some people you can't palpate it and you just have to estimate to your best okay relax thank you so spleen 10 doesn't have a point category but it has a very very strong relationship to blood uh, it can harmonize blood, it stops blood stagnation, it does support the blood. Spleen 11 is on the medial side of the thigh, 6 and proximal to spleen 10. And it says locate two hand breaths, so 6 and uh, superior to spleen 10. So we have spleen 10 here, and so I can do one, two hand breaths. And we'll find a depression just above that. It's basically a straight line going up. And there's the depression. Spleen 11. Spleen 11 does not have a point category. 